What's happening guys, Malfect here. So today I want to present you a new addition to my collection, the Asus ROG phone or aka the Republic of Gamers phone by Asus. So this one is a beast. Uh, this one has the Snapdragon 845 but it is overclocked to 2.96 gigahertz with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of ROM. This device also comes with 4000 milliamperes of battery so you can expect to go easily through one day gaming and so on. So what I first want to do is show you a little bit of this device. So as you can see on with these orange accents, those are the front um, facing speakers which also sound really good. So you really have a surround sound, stereo sound which um, really helps out in some games like PUBG and whatnot. On the top um, it's basically flat, there is nothing. On the right side we do have our basic power and volume up and down buttons. On the down side we do have our um, off center USB Type-C charging cable and our headphone jack. On on the left side we do have something special, our normal SIM, ca uh, SIM card tray and here this one. Let me peel that off. So this comes with a um, protection. So and this slot especially are two USB-C slots. This is for those expandable stuff which Asus um, release with that phone like your dock, your cooling system and whatnot. Pretty important Asus um, likes to know that uh, you shouldn't charge this device with the red port here. Please use the black one. Alright let's go to the um, back side. As you guys can see it's uh, pretty outstanding, it's something fresh, something crazy. Uh, very much gamish looking. On the right side we do have our metal accent here with two, um, I don't know, cooling grills. I have no idea if that really does some effect at all. Um, and then we do have our Republic of Gamers logo which shines in all RNG, RNG colors you can imagine. That's your fingerprint scanner, your uh, flash and your dual camera setup. Yeah, basically that's that guys. Alright, um, it also has a 19Hz AMOLED screen which also looks great. And yeah, your basic gaming hub is the game center. Here in the game center you can really see everything uh, step by step like the CPU, GPU, memory used and your storage used uh, with the um, temperatures and the clock speed at the same time. And this has something called Game Genie. This is um, the app which basically supports um, or adjusts your game as you play. Then we do have our air triggers. HTC released some while back those edge sense stuff. So if you pressure the frame of the device, it basically sees as a input, and this input is like a shortcut or a um, additional button we can press. This is really handy in PUBG. You will see that later on. This is the fan speed you can adjust. As you guys can see here, I will show it in a second. This is the um, cooling fan which comes with this device. And here we do have our aura li lightning which shines from the back. So we can adjust or we can turn up this game mode. We are pressing that X mode. And, uh, and everything turns in a kind of reddish look. And also on the back you guys can see that 
the color changes and all that RGB colors you can imagine. You can adjust that as well. Like if you go to Auro Lightning, you can do a color cycle, strobing, static and breathing and whatnot. Alright. Basically, um, this was meant to be a PUBG mobile gameplay, which I'm gonna start right now. And something special, I will zoom in a little bit. We are this Game Genie and Game Center. We do have stats basically. So on the left side, this is the CPU usage. On the right side, this is the GPU usage. Um, in the middle, we do have our battery indicator. On the right side, this is our temperature. On pretty important, far, far right, this is our FPS counter. All right, guys. So we are in the main menu right now. Let's go to graphics. And as you can see, um, if you want to play smooth, we can set the frame rate up to extreme. Everything else will be playable with ultra FPS, even HD. I mean HDR. So Ultra HD isn't possible, unfortunately, but everything else we're gonna enable. anti lasing will also be enabled. Luckily, luckily this is a standard screen, so we'll stick with the normal screen layout. All right. And I just told you guys about the air triggers. This is uh, something really interesting as well. So we do have two air triggers. One is on the left side, as you guys can see, I adjusted that, and one is on the right side. Um, you just have to press a little bit and it really um, does its effect. Really awesome. I love this gimmick. All right, let's go back. Don't save anything. And let's do a game of those, this new event mode. All right. And yeah, let's start. And as some new as yours, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as I'm releasing new videos every day with different devices and different games. So with the bell, stay tuned. And let me just quickly uh, turn off the sound. Uh, this was something beforehand I want to show you guys. This is the cooling fan. This basically um, has those two USB type C um, layout, which you're gonna or can stick in that phone in the center and basically starts automatically cooling your device, but not internal. This is just um, from, uh, from the outside. As well, um, there's the RGB color and whatnot, so uh, you don't miss your RGB colors. One extra gimmick, while um, this thing is on, you do have a headphone jack and another charging port. <clears throat> All right, let me turn for this gaming session my light on. Right, let me as well hit the volume up a little bit. So you guys can see the whole time the FPS on the top right corner here. So this is something I really love. So this is the first device which uh, comes with that option. And yeah, let's see. All right, let's unfollow this guy. FPS is around 40-ish. 
on the highest settings. So our GPU is kind of okay as well, about 60-ish percent. And um, your GPU will be more demanded while gaming, of course, than your CPU does. So let's go to the top first. Oh, my bad. All right. So like I said, those air triggers are really great. <laughs> I really love that option though. So I did um, adjust those air triggers by uh, scoping in and shooting on with the red um, with the right trigger. This comes really handy. All right. Uh, of course, those guys didn't have anything. All right. Let's continue. So it's also really responsive. Yeah, there's a big guy. All right. That's a fire extinguisher, actually. Or no, it's a flamethrower. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a flamethrower. Quite interesting. A new weapon um, only for this mode. interesting stuff. I'm gonna stick with the finest, um, I mean flamethrower, sorry. Uh, Alright, but I'm gonna go with the M41 instead of the Uzi. And yeah, the FPS is around 40-ish. The device is still pretty cool on my hands. Around 30 Celsius. And yeah, the GPU is around 60 to 70 percent. And it's a running stable for the FPS, actually. So those graphics also do look quite well and I really can't see much droppage of the frame rate. Alright, let's see where we are. Uh, there's a tyrant down here uh, as you can see on the map. So it's getting night in about 40 seconds. <clears throat> Hopefully we can survive that. And yeah, the difference between day and night is pretty crazy. Uh, on night, the zombies will spawn quite more quickly. They are really ag more aggressive and you really have a hard time surviving. Of course, you have to, uh, at the same time your enemies, other players, but this game really stays at a stable um, 40 FPS on the highest settings.
All right, let's look um, and go to the bunkers. Maybe we can actually find something useful here. Or not. Oh yeah, a little bit of ammo. So it's night time. Uh, we have to really look out for the zombies. Awesome. I love that effect though. Uh, I probably wasted uh, a lot of ammo, but yeah. That's how it is. SMG, maybe I, need, I will need that. Let's see. A VSS, not gonna need that one. And yeah, this um, knife is also new in this game mode. This knife uh, does more damage to zombies overall. Good to have if you don't have uh, more ammo left. And yeah, basically that's that guys. I will wrap this video up. I think you've seen enough. The um, Rock Phone really does a steady 40 FPS on highest settings. And yeah, I for myself are quite surprised and really happy uh, to have such a nice device. As always, thank you a bunch for watching and if you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Would help really out. Have a good one and see you in the next video. Bye guys.